Hey, what's up guys and welcome to the video. Today we'll be tackling the dirty Tesla Model 3 that you guys saw on the main channel a little while back. And as usual, you'll get to see everything from my perspective today. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with. All right, well, starting with the exterior and you can see there's a good layer of dirt on the paint that looks pretty stuck on. The wheels and tires are filthy and brown. And then there's some bug guts up on the front end that have clearly been there since last summer. But moving inside the Tesla now, and winter definitely wasn't kind to this vehicle as there was a ton of dirt tracked inside. So besides the filthy floor mats, the vegan leather seats definitely need some attention and so does the trunk as it's full of debris. But just before we dive into getting every inch of this Tesla looking brand new again, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I post a new video like this each week, so if you've got the bell on, you won't ever miss out on one. All right guys, well I am super excited to get started on this Tesla today, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of my favorite details that I've done, and hopefully yours too. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. All right, well starting on the pre-wash rinse, and I wanted to quickly welcome you back to the second channel, and as you can see, this video is going to be completely real time, and I've included a lot of the natural sounds along with quite a few things that weren't in the main channel video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. starting on these dirty wheels and tires now and I'll get some of my non-acid wheel and tire cleaner sprayed on and will then agitate with my Detail Geek contour tire brush, wheel brush and boar's hair detail brush, all of which you can find on my website at detailgeekautocare.com and you might also notice the owner has swapped out the rims on this Tesla for aftermarket ones and in my opinion it was a great choice as they look really good on this car. Thank you. 
Okay, starting on the wash stage now, and when I wash vehicles, I always use the two bucket method with grit guards in both of my buckets. And what the two bucket method means is having one bucket with soapy water and one bucket dedicated for rinsing my wash mitt and then using a nice soft microfiber chenille wash mitt, I'll rinse or flip my mitt after each panel. Of course, washing the vehicle top down. Although the other piece of the puzzle here is making sure to do a really thorough job on the pre-wash rinse to get as much dirt as possible off the vehicle before the contact wash. And if you follow these steps, you will greatly reduce the chance of instilling any swirl marks or scratches in your paint. Okay, with the mats clean now, I'll quickly clean up the floor. And this is something that I have to do during every detail I do, no matter how dirty the vehicle is. And basically, I do this really quick to make sure I'm not walking around on a dirty floor during the rest of the detail. So, because getting the vehicle done is the focus here, I'm not worried about the floor being perfectly clean at this point. Okay, so obviously there is no like actual key for this car. You can either start it and move it with your phone, um, buy a key fob, which is an accessory from the dealer, or you get one of these little cards, uh, which is what the owner left me. And uh, touch it down there, touch the brake. There we go. Down into drive, and we are off. button for park that's it pretty cool Finishing all the jams now, and as you guys know, I always pressure wash door jams as that's the easiest way to clean them. 
and then simply just dry them with a microfiber towel, unless they're really, really bad, and then I would use degreaser first. Working my way around with the vacuum, and I'm sure there's a few of you out there wondering about the quality of carpet in this Tesla, and unfortunately while the rest of the vehicle is built pretty well, the carpet is definitely on the cheaper side of things, and I'd say it's just one step above the Velcro-like stuff that I see in a lot of vehicles, although honestly that's really not surprising as good quality carpet can be really hard to find in a vehicle these days. With the vacuuming done, I'll start wiping down all the interior trim, and since it's not overly dirty, I'm simply using a damp microfiber towel to clean them, and then we'll follow it up with a dry one.
turning to this vegan leather now. And for those of you wondering what the heck is vegan leather, well, it's basically a man-made leather made from plastics instead of animal hide. And because of that, using harsh cleaners isn't recommended. So I'm opting for just a damp microfiber towel to clean them today, and then we'll dry them off with a separate towel. All right, now that we've got the interior finished, it's time to turn our attention to the paint and start the decontamination process. And for that, I'm using Pinnacle Ultra Polyclay and a quick detailer acting as lubricant to ensure that all the surface bonded contaminants like tar, tree sap, or any other road grime is removed from the paint. And once this is done, the paint will be perfectly clean and ready for a sealant. Starting on the massive amount of glass this car has now and if any of you out there struggle with getting your vehicle's glass streak free, well you need to try my Detail Geek Waffle Weave Glass Towels which I've got available on my website at DetailGeekAutoCare.com. These towels are the secret to streak free glass so be sure to check them out.
All right guys, well eight hours later and the Tesla is looking spectacular. And I gotta say, I had way too much fun during this detail. It's probably a good thing I don't own a Tesla because I'd literally be sitting there doing that summon thing like all day long. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one. Seriously, way too much fun. <laughs>